have this virus, I mean... Do you think they could actually do it in three hours? That's what I'm saying. It's not like Marco protects And I don't know if Marco was joking about it, like... He was saying, haha, we found out in three hours, or it's like, haha, there's no way. You no, there's no way you can just analyze that in three hours. Well, maybe, dude. I was thinking about that, like, the first person that ever saw the virus, like, it kind of caught up so quick. They're like, alright, let's get all experts on this. And there's one guy that's like, I've fucking seen this before in bats. <laughs> Did it come from bats? It yeah. came from bats, yeah, I know. Yo, I had this dream last night. without time. that, Without that one bad expert, they'd be like, they'd still not know. But now they know. I had this dream last night that I was in Singapore <laughs> with Haley, and we were in this, like, I was swimming, but I couldn't get out. And there were bats just coming in, and they would, like, bite you, and I was like, oh. I kept getting bit, and I'm like, oh my god, and I finally got out, and my leg had, like, Two holes, like kind of like a snake bite, oh. like, just bleeding, and I'm like, Ew, dude. dude, I was freaking out. I'm like, I'm just shut the doors and shut. I was like, we're gonna die. That's like the krill in um, Years of War. Remember that? Just a swarm that would kill you. Oh yeah. You got in the darkness. Dude, that's a very uneasy dream. Mm. I was also read that it's not really in Indonesia, but bat bat like meals are still very popular, even though it's been linked to bats. I don't know. I mean, Jesus Christ, man. Maybe it's good. I tried that. Oh, you need it. Bring me. Yeah, but rats, are, I mean rats. Bats are babies, yeah they do. Yeah. Not the one that I'm gonna eat. There's this guy, there's a story I heard on Joe Rogan where a guy touched a bat and it like hit him. He was running and it hit him. And he ended up dying from it. Because the tiny the tiny like mm -hmm. micros Poison? Huh? There's poison or he just had like... No, the bat hit him and, and from the micro like... Not pores, but you know what I'm saying? What are the like dust particles? What are those? It went through his skin into his bloodstream and two weeks later, or three weeks later, he died. Hmm. Bats are kind of scary. Dude, yeah, mom had a bat as a pet. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. They didn't know. They didn't care. They have, dude, bats are not something you should eat. You, I feel like I'd eat a lot of stuff, though. I wouldn't. Yeah, I mean, I'll eat, like, intestines of, like, a pig. I'll eat... What about intestines of a bat? No. I don't want anything with a bat. I'll eat alligator. I'll eat duck. No bat for you. I don't want to support killing, like, you know, prized animals, but if it was, I... I need it. If it was sourced properly. I'm not eating like an elephant. I mean, it's so thick. And I'm probably not that good. Maybe it is. I don't know. That. I mean, I bet there's. I bet everything served correctly or made correctly is tasty. I mean, you think about the elephant's like leather skin, and you think that's what you're eating, but it's basically just. I mean, it's just meat. Yeah, but is it like, are they super strong? I don't know, man. I mean, obviously they're strong. I mean, is it all muscle? You need to get some marbled fat in there. Addicted to tax refunds. Dude, when I saw my tax refund come in, I was addicted to it for a second. Woo! <laughs> Yeah, do this more often. I guess. Why did not mine go through? Mine said mine was accepted both ways. Stay in that title. Mm -hmm. You did it before I did. I did it before you. But... Are you sure you didn't check your bank? I haven't checked it in a while. Well, <laughs> but usually it says like 
Usually I get an email saying your deposit is complete. Oh, I got no email. I just ended up checking online. I was not. Pretty good turnaround though, a week and a half. They're getting good at this. And TurboTax had it on the dot. To the dot. That's a good algorithm. No, because you and I are just like the most basic thing. They didn't have to do anything, they didn't have to check anything. They're like, do you really have a house? Do you really have children? Do you really have, are you really married? It's like, not really. The most basic thing, it's like, look, you took this from me. I made this. What's your percentage? <laughs> Love to hear what they like. 
And they just feel like you have friends that believe mostly what you believe and you have this, you know? And God forbid if we, we've gotten to this point where anyone disagrees with you, it's like, I can't hang out with them. They're just so annoying. Yeah. Which again, I don't care if you have a disagreement I, or you disagree with me. I just want to know why. Maybe you're right, but also maybe you're wrong. Like, yeah, but you can... Or maybe there's just no answer, like God. Like, there's just no answer, so why would you even be bothered by that? There can be conflict and also discussion. Like, conflict doesn't always need to be war. Right. But I think people just like being upset. I think a lot of people just live in that constant cycle of something happens to me what was me? I get to complain. I get to complain about it. Mm-hmm. Not I have to complain about it. It's like some people really enjoy it. And there's definitely been times that I have too. No, no, I mean Well I wouldn't say I was used to the, I used to be that person that would block people, but I've definitely have done it before and I'm like, why would I even waste my time? Like just don't you can just like I read their comments and I actually use it as like knowledge to compare. Like you're saying, you look at good reviews and bad reviews, and then you make your decision. Like you can't just read good reviews because it might suck a little bit. And you can't just read bad reviews because it's probably not all that bad. Like you have to literally look at both sides and be like, hmm. Alright, so it's not all bad, but it's like, alright, so it's like 10% bad, but the 90% is worth it. Or it's, you know, the best choice to work. Yeah, exactly. That's why people are stupid. And then you get caught up in this whole, you know, societal structure of efficiency. So, like, you can't spend as much time, you can't spend twice the amount of time you would researching something than you're supposed to. Because it's like, well, then you're wasting, you're wasting time. You're wasting something of yours. Right. That shouldn't be wasted. Like, that could have been... I've been checking out what my friends are doing on Instagram. But I wasn't because I'm arguing about the guy that God exists, yeah. even though there's never going to be proof about that. And that lady probably created an Amazon account just to say that. <laughs> what do you have? Not really. I just have no desire to be stuck on a boat. Like, and I don't really care about. Like, I'd rather just go to the island and not be on a boat. Uh-huh. Like, if I'm going to spend time in the Caribbean or whatever, just let me fly there. It's way easier. And I spend way more time in the place I actually want to be, which you do on a cruise. Like, you get off the boat and you walk around, but... Yeah, but not there's there. also specified time. Yeah, there. exactly. Then you have to be back. I don't want to be on a schedule on my vacation. Like, that's the whole point of a vacation. <laughs> yeah, but some people, I don't know, dude. I mean, I don't think I would do it because I do it. They're so you. popular, yeah. I just, I don't think there's anything, like, novel that I'd get out of it. Like, yeah, it's, I mean, it's cool, for sure, but it's also just, like, it's almost like staying at the casino. And then you just go, you just get out. Like, every once in a while, yeah. You're, you're in a different location. Yeah. Exactly. But it's actually, like, two... It's nothing like crazy, like new. Like you can just piece together other experiences that you've had and be like, "Oh, it's like this." Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like the kids, they're like, "Oh, the kids are away. Now the adults can drink." Yeah, you know. Uh, yeah, the kids are asleep. <laughs> this is all inclusive. Drink as much as you want. I'm gonna have two lobsters tonight, not just one. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, but that's a carnival. If I was on a boat. Oh, boats work. are cool. I like boats, yeah. I like fishing. Or like what the godless believer Captain Liz Clark does. Dude, you ever, see, you ever see a carnival? You ever see how big those suckers are? There's thousands of freaking We saw them in the world. Yeah, dude. There are so know many. It might have been. Might have been. Is it one? I know, dude. It is crazy. It's a modern marble, but it's also like, I don't really know. 
Because it's not iron titanic. That's what it is. Absolutely. But. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I agree. I think I'd just rather spend more time to where I'm going than trying to get there. But it would be cool. Like, I've never experienced being out. Yeah, but imagine this. this water. Imagine you being on a boat in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> Land is thousands of miles away. And this one yeah. guy has coronavirus. And you're and just... These people are giving you one star reviews. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't go anywhere. You can't jump shit. You can't, like... They just start quarantining you and... Like, what if the whole boat got sick? Like, you Dude, that's just say, like, just tip it over. They're like, fuck you guys. Dude, yeah. there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff like that that happens on cruise ships. Like, it's... Whenever someone gets sick or people get sick on a cruise ship, it's like pneumonia in a hospital. Like, oh, so many people get it. Just spreads like wildfire. Yeah, all these people... Dude, all these boats right now that are docked, they're not going to let anybody off. Yeah, like, what do they do? They just stay there. And then the staff... Gets infected. <laughs> and the staff have to let you out. You get infected. You get out. You start going. Dude, there's no chance. If you're on, McDonald's, on McDonald's gets infected. If you're on one of those ships, you're fucked. That's what I'm saying. I don't there's, think there's like more and more cases. There's like 135 cases of coronavirus on one ship. It's like you're definitely going to die. Okay, but what if like all of a sudden. What if, I guess that's better than being stuck in a plane. Technically, I guess you could just land in the FBF plane for World War Z. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna bring this plane down. Dude, you know what I was thinking about? It was like, how sick would it be if Nick eventually got to work for like space? <laughs> or Virgin Galactic, you know? Just like flying that ship around. That's the new thing. I mean, it could just be luck that he like. You know, he's a young pilot. He works his way up. Somehow, you never know. He's just flying around in Arizona and testing in New Mexico or wherever. And, and then all of a sudden, he's just like, yeah, man, I just shoot people up into space. like." <laughs> and we're going to circle around. If you look to your left, that is the curvature of the Earth. If there's any flat earthers out there, please exit. Uh, Dude, I don't please find that. your nearest exit and jump out the window. I mean it. Maybe it would be to that point that it would get that easy. No, but probably being be a lot. pilot, it'd be pro yeah, probably yeah. Being be a little. pilot versus being an astronaut, those are two different worlds. Yeah, but we haven't. We are not even at that level to just bring people up and let them ex like they see. Imagine just bringing people up and we like dock and we're like, all right, guys, we're gonna go moon jumping. So make sure you put on your <laughs> dude. It'd be crazy. And then future us is like, I don't really like that kind of stuff. Like, you can just piece together your experiences, and it's just like, yeah, go on the moon. Where's my other? It's a carnival ship versus go to the moon. Yeah. Actually, what I think is the most, going to be the most limiting is VR. Like, once we get to a point where VR, you can plug in and you can Experience be anywhere, it. it's as good as, it's like, kind of like dreaming. It feels, it's gonna feel so real that's like you don't even have to go. 10% greater. Wait, what is it? Oh. Um, yeah, and I agree with that too, which is why I wanna buy it, which is why one of my. Like, it could only be just a temporary thing. We could shoot people into space for just a little bit and then. Technology gets so good that people are like, no, I don't even need to go. Mm -hmm. Dude, people do a lot of stuff. You do your work. You eventually, eventually, at the end of the end, you'd just be laying down, mm -hmm. getting fed IV, and then just doing whatever you have to do. You ever see that Black Mirror episode where that's what happens? They're just like plugged in the world and they're just like... Is that the one, San Junipero? That one? Uh -huh. It's more like VR. That one's not VR. That one's like you don't have get uploaded. Yeah. Uh, oh, these guys are just like in VR, and they're just on the ground, just like they just haven't like taken it off, and they haven't eaten. And they Is just, this like a new one? 
No, it's really, it's pretty old. You sure? I don't know. Maybe I haven't seen that one. Ah, uh, it's, it's intense. And people are just like so in love with that world. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They're just like dying. Dude, don't <laughs> they you like can't take it off. <laughs> don't you remember that, uh, that Vimeo video? Where the guy made you, it would be like a nose ring. Oh, yeah. And you'd go to, you'd basically be playing like Modern Warfare or whatever you wanted. Mm-hmm. And then they'd have to take it off and they were like drug addicts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same, same thing it sounds like. Wait, maybe that was that video. Fuck. <laughs> was it? I don't know. I haven't seen There's it. There's this video where like the guy's off and he's in like, this gray, basically just a blank room. He's just like crouched down and he's just in VR and he's like, can't get out. I mean, maybe it have, was that. They have nothing on their face. I mean, know that. But there was like, yeah, I mean, they did it like it was almost a documentary. Like they're interviewing the guy and he's like, yeah, I just like, can't get out of it. It's so fun, you know. Why would I want to live here with like all the problems that I have to do and I can just stay in there the whole time, but you know, it's ruining my life, this and that. Let us know in the comments. <laughs> we can add it to the description. I have it in my legs. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I don't know. It's a possibility. Especially if they got good enough that you can get like body suits too. Because seeing, seeing is a lot seeing of is blood. Blood. Seeing isn't everything. Seeing is believing. Like if you could get thrown at a building and you could be wearing like this wetsuit that would like squeeze your arm where you got hit. Oh, I know. You'd be like, whoa. <laughs> Dude, you'd be, you'd probably lose your mind for a little bit until you adapt into it. Playing VR is, you know, when you're climbing, especially yeah. height stuff. Yeah. <laughs> or fear, fear more than height. Just that. Is very, it's so innate that you're just like. It's so, so crazy that you can out. trick your brain, even though it's basic cubes when we were playing it. And it, you just really feel like, oh my god, if I fall off this plank, I'm dying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and you just, yeah, you just stumble and, like, your heart starts racing. Anyway, did you end up buying that book? Because that sounds kind of good. No, not yet. I figured, I was going to, and then, I mean, it's kind of expensive. It's like 25 bucks. And then I was like, hmm, I should probably finish my other books before I buy this book. I just buy books, and I know I'm going to read them eventually, but, but I just, like, just, buy them again. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, dude, look how cool I am with my 100 books. But the problem with books is, like, you read it once and you're done. You, not, it's pretty rare. Oh, dang it. Sold too early. I bought a Boeing puts, and I sold for, like, 150 it's now, still going down. It's, yeah, I sold it when it was a, down a dollar, and now it's down three dollars, and it's changed. Damn. Anyway, this is what it is. Bro, um, <clears throat> uh, yeah, you know, down eight bucks. Now's the time to buy. You don't. Uh, you don't ever read again. Found guilty on three counts of Nike score. Oh my god. So Nike's. Done. Who's Michael? What is he? CEO? I don't know. Nike extortion. 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 And the extortion. I don't know. I like 3M's ticker symbol. It's actually just 3M's. Yeah. <laughs> you can get kind of creative with these things, but I was always wondering, like, do you think they ever fully get used. Like eventually there's just going to be enough tickers that like you uh, can't even make one that has anything to do with your name. Yeah, but I mean, maybe. Kind of like license plates, but not really. Because I guess technically you can teach license plates in different states. You know? Okay. TQQQ. Apple down.